75 stadiums. Seminole Stadium seats 82,902 fans. How many more fans can fit in the Seminole Stadium? Okay, we're going to use a bar model to solve. So we've drawn our bars. Um, each of them have been labeled. Jace, can you explain the bars to us? Our Gators bar model is going to represent how many seats are at the stadium, which is 57,775 fans. And our Seminoles bar model is going to represent how many fans can sit at the Seminoles stadium, which is 82,902. Okay, and what was the question in our problem? How many more fans can fit in the Seminoles stadium? Okay, so what are you going to do? Subtract 57,775 Hey, go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you we'll can't subtract 2 minus 5, so you're going to borrow from your 9, which will turn to an 8. And our 0 becomes? A 10. But we need to borrow from it, so it's going to be a 9. And our 2 becomes a 12. Okay, now we're ready to subtract. 12, 12 minus, minus 5. 5. Okay, so the space that's missing between the two of them, the difference between the two bars, is 25,127. Go ahead and write that in the missing space so we know now what it's worth. So, Ariana, go back and read your question. How many more fans can fit in the Seminole Stadium? So, how many more, Jay? 25,127 fans. The floor sells 427 roses on Valentine's Day and 516 days on the same day. How many flowers do they sell in all? Okay, we're going to use a bar model. What, is our total, what does our bar represent, Ariana? Our bar is going to represent how many roses we sold and how many daisies. So how many flowers in all? Good. So part of our, what do we know about our bar? Part of it represents what? Part of it represents 427. 427 what? Roses. Good. What's our other part represent? The other part 516 daisies. 516 daisies. Jace, go back and read our question. How many flowers do they sell in all? Okay. How do we use our bar to figure that out, Ariana? We're going to add them together. So, 516 plus 427. Good. 6 plus 7? 6 plus 7 is 14. 13. 13. 13. 13. 2, 4, and 9. So, that would how many total, the total number of flowers is 943. So what's the total value of our bar, Jace? 943 flowers. Very good. Use area model to solve. 5 times 637. Okay, Jace, can you label our area model, please? Since we're doing 5 times, we're going to put our 5 here on the side. Uh-huh. And our 637, we're going to label and expand it. 630 and 7. Good. Now what do you do? And now we're going to multiply Good. 5 times 6. 6 times 5 is what? 6 times 30. 30. 30. Good. 30 and add your two zeros. Good. Okay. Five then 5 times 3 is 15. Add a zero. Good. And then we just multiply 5 times 7. 35. Good. And now what do you do to find your answer? You have to now we need to add all of these together. Add all your pieces. Go ahead, Ariana. 3,000 plus, plus 150 plus 35. 35. 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 3,185. So 5 times 637 is 3,185. Good job. Money I take. Together they have a total of $70. How much money does Brooke have? Okay, what do we do first with our word problem? First we're going to circle our important information. Good. 
We need to know that Brooke has six times as much money as Katie. Good. And that together they have a total of how much? $70. And what's our question? Our question is how much money does Brooke have? Okay, good. We're going to use a comparison model to figure out Brooke and Katie. Go ahead, Ariana. So we're going to draw our bar Because it says Brooke has six times as much money as Katie. So we're going to put six boxes. Okay. Good. How many boxes does Katie have? And we're just going to put one box for her. Right. And then total, what's the total value of both of their... $70. The total is $70. Good job. Now... What are we going to put in those boxes for now? Because we don't know the number. In. We're going to put in. We don't know what. Because we don't know. Now what are we going to do? We've labeled our bars. We have all the information that we can use. What are we going to do now? We're going to count our boxes. Okay. We're going to write our equation. We're going to write our equation. What is our equation going to look like, Ariana? Um, one times one equals seven. But seven times ten equals seven. So seven times ten. Where'd you get the seven from? The seven from our box. Count, seven boxes. count One, the box. Two, three, four, five, six, plus Katie is seven. Seven. So we knew that we had seven parts. So now we know n equals what? N equals ten. Ten. So you can go ahead and replace that in the boxes. Read our question. How much money does Brooke have? So that's the question that we actually need to answer. So Ariana, how much money does Brooke have? Brooke has $60. How'd you know that? Because 10 times 6 equals 60, and plus another 10 equals 70, but we're not counting Katie, so we're just counting Brooke. To answer the question, we just want to know Brooke. So Brooke has how much money? Brooke has $60. Go ahead and write that. Good job.